two. On second down, Winston again. And his throw is incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Here's Winston. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you yeah. know? The mental focus yeah, on the whole that's thing. True. You gotta stay with it. That's true. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. Oh, look at the juice. A terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation mm -hmm. if they decide to take a shot. on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. play fake. Here's Roethlisberger. Flush to his right. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. Third down here. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And the Steelers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Final play of the half. It's Roethlisberger. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. 
What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Jameis on second down. Looking left side, he's got a man. It's Evans. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain of 32 that time. Mm -hmm. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's able to carve out about six hey, there man, down to the 37. You can't move his feet like Despite you want to. Despite the blitz, he's still able to pick a solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing Wait. often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Jameis to throw it. Throw left side complete. It's Evans. A familiar ring to that one. Winston to Evans for the Buccaneer first. And they'll go on the ground. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And on the ground they go with the running back. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. The first carry here for Jaquiz Rogers. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They'll try to throw now, Winston. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And that takes us from second to third down. Hmm. They just cheated me then. Might even got both his toes down the back of the end zone. Did he get the feet down? No. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Third and goal. Winston. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. 
Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, uh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out the, just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see go, go. what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Going top oh, shelf for Smith-Schuster. This is caught inside the 15. Oh. And he gets this down deep into Tampa Bay territory. Young games go. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And it's caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Steelers. Antonio Brown, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Steelers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Extra point splits the uprights, huh? and the lead is now 14 to 10. Mm -hmm. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Buccaneers' offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they had oh. three points last time, but they didn't want yeah. three points because they were well yeah. within range of scoring a touchdown. Yeah. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time you, you could have kicked that one through i don't know about that <laughs> <Toe bashed. laughs> i don't know about that <laughs> super tall <toe. laughs> 
Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. To throw Winston. Oh, he dropped it. Drop the they were looking for him in the middle third. Place. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Do it there, Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's Big in the middle of traffic. Big pain. Don't drop the ball right there, man. But My he usually has the focus to hold call you the N-word. I ain't calling about N-word. Big right. play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect yeah. to see some pressure here. Give him the ball, baby. You want, want him to win? Let me know if I start Bravo, coming. Bravo, Bravo. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. Ooh, now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Oh, peak in the four four. I don't do that. Just when I'm focused like that. Come on now. Just a short pickup. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Now Roethlisberger to throw. This is caught inside the 15. Mm -hmm. That goes for a gain of 31. When the big guy rumbles down the center of the field and he gains leverage on a guy trying to cover him, it is really, really tough for the defender to get through him to make a play on the football. That's why guys love to throw that route down the middle, throw it deep, and let the big guy go get it. Now Bell. And he's going to take man, it in man, for a Steeler man. touchdown. Le'Veon Bell, his second touchdown of the night. And the interception by the Steeler D leads to a touchdown. Good boy, Wayne. Extra like, point, point was hooking, up, man. but he does make it through. Beat the boy and every year, and then come on in, man. And he don't beat five in a row. Hmm. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Now it's Wilson. Work on the return as they'll the start ball. their drive just past the 30 yeah, yard line. Need to play right now, now, the Buccaneer the offense set to take over again. And following Dude. the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious oh, yeah. because now That's you can't win in there, man. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Beautiful, man. My head one on one, you can't win. The boy just throw their hands up, ball flat out the field. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. A second down throw for Winston. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. The Bucks on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. Winston now. He finds Humphreys. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Buccaneer first down as Winston hooks up with Humphreys. 
Jameis now just 6 of 15 through the air. Not good, but first and 10 here. Play action now. Winston. Airing this one out for Evans. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bucs have made this a one-score game. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Again, it's Winston. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Bud Dupree. Look at the big man rumble. He's at the 40. 20, 10, 5. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a yeah, big way. Still, still Santos yeah. out now. He'll I kick it away. And the Steelers set to take the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit, and you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, and then, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Oh, Roethlisberger going to throw, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Gerald McCoy in there to get him for his second sack of the night. They'll run it now out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Roethlisberger and he took the contact as he was throwing it and the ball drops incomplete third down is a down both sides know they absolutely have to win and the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback but pressure on the quarterback with contact that's how you end up winning it Barry on the punt as he gets this one away mm -hmm. Okay. So possession yeah. goes over okay. here on the punt. And possession yeah, will be. switch. Hands Maybe. first and ten. Yeah. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. Okay. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. 
And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. First down now, but that clock rolling. Inside of a minute to go now, two timeouts left, still in pretty good shape. I think they're in excellent shape here if they use the timeouts judiciously and use the sideline as an additional timeout. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And incomplete oh, there. God. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, you may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. The Bucks on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Back to throw. This is caught by Jackson. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle <laughs> yourselves. I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. So a line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. He's back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Right here. 12 seconds left. Big O.J. Howard, his intended target. And it's third down. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. Back to throw. He's got Evans. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Winston escaping the pressure right. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Obviously, the excitement level here is almost a fever pitch. Down one is tempted to go for two. <laughs> I say you go ahead and kick the extra point. You got the home crowd carried into overtime. I'm with you. I do see some fans though holding up two fingers. Easy now. Yeah, but they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? Throwing Winston. And boy, you right want to talk about right guts. There, guts is going for two when you're Crowd down one in that spot it. right there. Do they not trust their kicker? Did they, they not feel that it was time to go ahead and do that? Or did they just say, we've got a play on that we're so confident in, we're going to go ahead and do it? I'm going to say they're going to say that in the press conference. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. 
An incredibly short kick fielded okay. way up there. And they're going to start this drive in Bebo. pretty good shape the battle, as they get it up past hurting. the 30. But I shouldn't have the battle, so uh, EA, that's enough of that. Put this up for the team to watch. 